Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Today we're at Legoland, California, but instead of going on the rides, we're going to the aquarium. Sea Life Aquarium is located right next to Legoland. With a park hopper ticket, you can visit both in the same day. There are two entrances to Sea Life. One is located outside the main entrance to Legoland behind the Castle Hotel. The other entrance is located inside Legoland right before you get to Dino Valley. That's the entrance we're using today. I don't think we've ever spent longer than an hour at Sea Life Aquarium, but I mean, if you're really into sea life, you can make it take longer than that. We're gonna go through the aquarium efficiently. Strollers are not allowed inside the aquarium, but there is convenient stroller parking right before you enter Sea Life. If you're entering Sea Life from the entrance inside Legoland, you'll get your hand stamped so you can easily re-enter the park after walking through the aquarium. Follow us along as we explore the sea life inside Sea Life Aquarium. Cool. Let's close the hatch. Hi guys, and welcome to Sea Life. We have an awesome dive adventure planned for you today. You're going to meet some of my amazing underwater friends. Sea Life rescues lots of sick and injured sea creatures, makes them better, and when they're well enough, releases them back into the sea. I keep an eye on things with a little help from my friends. Madness! He's one high-tech shark with all the gadgets, including one that lets us know he's safe and sound wherever he goes. But hey, that's enough about us. It's time we got underway. Seal those earbuds, man. All ready, Tyler. Locked and ready to dive. Hold tight, everybody. We're off. Let's raise the periscope and find out exactly where we are. Looks like we're arriving at our destination. Awesome! What a great place to start our dive adventure. It's beautiful here. Let's go! There's a slide if you want to go down the slide once. Yeah, I want to go down the slide. You want to go down the slide? Sea Life Aquarium's hours are not always the same as Legoland California's hours. They usually open a little bit later and close a little bit earlier. Sometimes they are also open on days that Legoland California is closed. For example, on a rainy day, or sometimes Legoland is closed on weekdays like Wednesdays during the school year. Do you want to go in there? Do you want to go in? Sea Life Aquarium is not the only place you can see sea life at Legoland. You can see stingrays, sharks, fish, and so much more on the submarine ride at Legoland, which is called Deep Sea Adventure. It's my favorite ride at Legoland. Check the description box for a link to my POV video of that ride. Let's go to the next thing. Look at the pink starfish. Don't touch it though. Can no, this isn't a touch tank. Don't touch anything. While you're at Sea Life, your kids can ask the employees for pot badges. Pot badges are kind of like buttons. They're free and collectible. Your kids simply have to ask, do you have any pot badges? Even better, your kids could ask, do you have Mr. Gold and have you seen Space Baby? 
Mr. Gold and Space Baby are rare collectible pot badges, and you can only get them by asking for them. Sometimes the employees at Sea Life have these rare pot badges, so don't forget to ask. Also, be sure to ask all around Legoland. All right, look, this next room looks pretty cool. changed this room in the aquarium, but it used to have a really cool feature where it looked like you were walking in the water on the beach. This is a video of the former attraction from a few years ago. Legoland, if you see this video, please bring this feature back. Okay. Wash your hands, get in the water. So we're supposed to wash our hands. Sea turtle! If anyone wants to touch the animals, make sure you rinse your hands off of the sinks first, please. Thank you. If anyone wants to touch the animals, just make sure you rinse off your hands. You just have to tell me your favorite sea creature. Mako shark? Mako shark? Nice. That's a very specific answer. Did you want one too? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll be careful. I think I have one more bad for you. What's your favorite sea creature? Starfish. Starfish, awesome. There you go. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that was the last aquarium one that I had, so. Wow. You got lucky. Nice. If anyone wants to touch the animals, just make sure you raise your hands off first, okay? If you guys want to touch just two fingers, very gently pet them like this, and make sure you don't touch their mouth in the middle because it's very sensitive, okay? There's also sea urchins you can touch and sea stars as well. Most of the sea stars are over on that side. Can you touch a sea star? Yeah. Do you want to touch any of these? And make sure you don't touch their mouth in the middle of the very sensitive, okay? There's also sea urchins. Yeah, two fingers. What, what are these things? Those are sea anemones. We have a few different species in here. That's why there's different colors. Uh, oh, okay. green. But the ones that get touched more often, their stingers get brushed off. Um, so they lose their stingers for a little bit, but then they go back. The brown ones and oak star. The ones with blue spots are spine stars. And the pink ones are leather stars. <laughs> Oh, that is soft. Soft. A shark egg. Oh, shark egg. Can you touch the shark egg? Your hands have enough. No, it doesn't have a baby. No baby, just a yellow. Can you touch it? It's unfertilized. Shark egg. Oh, I'm going to cut one more thing. What? It's a starfish. Okay, let's go down to the surface. There are several starfish right there. What's it feel like? Kind of bumpy. Yeah. Walter said that the pink one down there was really soft. Do you see the pink one? Okay, let's go wash our hands. Why do we have to wash our hands again? Because you touched everything in there. Separating. They look like they look like they're gonna like suck you into the 
The yellow fish in there is pretty, pretty too. The yellow fish? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, oh, it's moving too. Uh -huh. oh, these like are weird it. looking little fish. Yeah, I like these fish. Oh, they get to walk through the tunnel. Yeah. Walk through the tunnel. Oh, uh, shark. It reminds me of Zoo I know, right? The shark tunnel. I love the tunnel at the Sea Life Aquarium. It is similar to the shark tunnel at SeaWorld San Diego. Check the description box for a link to my video about SeaWorld San Diego so you can see that shark tunnel for yourself. One thing I love about Sea Life is that it incorporates education with Legos and fun. For example, it's fun to look at the sea creatures swimming around the sculptures made out of Legos. <laughs> Favorite spot over here. Dominic. Dominic. Look, that's where we were. You can look down on what we saw down there. That's the tunnel. I know. Well, we keep on see the right tunnel? There. That's where we walked underneath the sharks. We were down there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. See the big sharks going by? They were, over, they were over our heads. Look at that down there. What? I was talking about that thing swimming kind of towards us on the bottom. It's like, there's the big coral thing and it's kind of behind it right now. Maybe it was a shark, but it, like that thing down there. Oh, that's a quiz right here. Oh, it's like that one. With the three fins on the back. Whoa, that is, I've never seen that thing. That's what I was saying. It looks like that a thing. shark got married to a stingray. He's like, is it a stingray or a shark? I don't know. So I'm like, I'm not I'm not Ooh. telling you what it is. I don't know what it is. A kind of stingray? That's I don't know. It had like three fins on the back. Oh yeah, that's called a, um, a triangle nose stingray. Okay, so it is a stingray. Oh, that's so it is. Awesome. You really know your stuff about the ocean. I watch animal documentaries. Guys, all right. Cool. Thank you. Hi, right, here, kids. Wait, did I make you guys? It's a blue, blue spotted ribbon tail red. There's also um, a tiny little stinger right there. Yeah. yeah, and there's also supposed to be a shark in there. Awesome. Whoa, that's an awesome dog. Look at the white stingray. They're a wino. That is cool. We're going to see horses next. Seahorses. Sea horses. Oh, there's a seahorse.
Look, the pretty fish came over to say hi. Hi. That one and that one. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. There's Nemo. I found Nemo. I found Nemo. And Dory. restaurant inside Sea Life. We have never eaten here, but if you're hungry, it looks like they have a variety of sandwiches, snacks, and kid-friendly food items. There's stuff in here too. Like real... What the freaking... Look at how thick this is. That is really thick. That's how thick the glass is. This is giant! Giant. any good attraction, Sea Life ends in a gift shop, which has a variety of Lego sets and sea-related gift items. Those are some big gems. <laughs> The dolphin? I kind of thought you probably were. I think he's, he might be doing some mini, mini figure trading. Look, they have mermaids here too. The mermaids are more like 16 and that one's 21. You can get one or the other. You can't get both. This one. This one? If you want to re-enter Legoland after leaving the Sea Life Aquarium, when you exit the gift shop, turn to your left and an employee there will be able to look at your hand stamp or your ticket to let you back into the theme park. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified about upcoming videos about Legoland California and other fun places worth visiting in Southern California and beyond. See you next time.